Glory, glory, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory, 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 hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, glory, 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 glory. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, glory, glory. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Worthy is the Lord, worthy is the Lamb of God. Hallelujah, we praise Him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We thank the Lord for we will triumph. Yes, this is true. We will triumph. Yes, this is true. Say yes and amen. We will triumph. We will triumph over the fears. We will win. We will be the overcomer. Yes and amen. Hallelujah. 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 Rokorra la shata ta 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 ta. We welcome joyful noise. Glory to Jesus. Rokorra ra 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 la shata ta ta. Rokorra ra 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 la la shata ta 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 ta. Yes, indeed, we make a joyful noise for the Lord, for His presence for his holy angels, for his kingdom within us. Hallelujah. On earth as it is in heaven, we will rejoice and we will shout for the Lord. We will make a joyful noise, a wonderful noise for his kingdom because he is risen. Hallelujah. He is risen. Yes, he is risen. Yes, and amen. He is risen. Speak in tongues while we are waiting for others to get connected. But today you are going to triumph over that fear. Yes, indeed, over that fear. Yes, I said that fear is troubling you. The fear is bothering you. But tonight the Lord God shall bless you in such a way that you shall be the overcomer. And you will say that, yes, indeed, I am the winner. You will overcome every situation where there is fear, where there is torture and torment. You will say no more. You will be in peace. Grace and peace is for you tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Because of the blood of the Lamb, tonight the Lord God shall bless you with the everlasting peace which will never ever be taken away from you. And tonight I shall bless you and anoint your head. So keep your anointing oil ready so that at the right time, being led by the Holy Spirit, I'll anoint the oil and you will place, you will put your hand on your head and I will anoint you. Hallelujah. Keep the anointing oil ready. And even today, if you don't have the anointing oil, keep a glass of fresh water ready. We will try and be yes, indeed. We will try and say yes and amen. Roma Austin, God bless you. We will triumph and we are gathering here tonight. We are getting connected here tonight to win. Say yes and amen. We will triumph. We will win. Yesura sika tika rika tika rika tika. Lord, there's none like you and we boast in praising you because we are your children and we are here on earth still alive your existence here on earth we believe and our strength is in the joy so we praise and we feel bold and courageous while saying that, yes, indeed, Lord, you are risen. You are our Lord, our God. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth is my King, my Lord, my Savior. And I will praise you. I will keep on praising you no matter what, O oh Lord God, Jesus Christ. I will not let your glory fall, O oh Lord God, Jesus Christ, because your glory is eternal, everlasting, forever and true. 
You are holy, one and only one holy. Yes, you are holy, O Lord God, Jesus Christ. And we receive your holiness. We triumph over the evil, over the fears, because we receive your holiness. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We are the children of God and we praise you. We praise our Lord God, Jesus Christ. We praise you, O God. We give you all glory. Our Abba Father is on earth as it is in heaven. We have received a Father. We have received the Holy Spirit and we glorify your name. Samuel, God bless you. We give you praises without any fear. We are not afraid of anything. We will praise you, o Lord God Jesus Christ, and we will not think about anything else. We will praise you and we are bold enough because you loved us so truly. We are made bold by your spirit. We are strengthened by your spirit and we thank you, Lord God Jesus Christ, that your spirit is leading us. Your spirit is supporting us. Your spirit is within us. Your spirit is here, O oh Lord God, Jesus Christ. We receive you each new day, your grace and your peace. For anything and everything here on earth, whatever we do, O oh Lord God, Jesus Christ, we will glorify your name no matter what. We will give you glory no matter what. We will say, yes, Lord Jesus Christ, you are the one and only one, the Alpha and the Omega, and we will praise you. We will praise you no matter what. We will not be afraid of the circumstances, O oh Lord. We will not be afraid of any situation, but we will come boldly to the throne of grace. We will be bold to, O oh Lord God Jesus Christ, when we come to you, we are bold, O oh Lord God Jesus Christ. We will lift our hands towards heaven and we will glorify your name and we will clap our hands for you. For your presence, we will praise you and we will clap our hands. Oh, hallelujah. Rasa ta 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 ta. We will give you glory. We will praise you. Clapping our hands. Hallelujah. 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 We thank you, oh Lord God Jesus Christ, for your holiness, for your holy presence. We thank you for your anointing. We thank you for everything that you are giving us you are the provider hallelujah we will triumph and this is true as the word of god says that the perfect love cast away fear so we have 1 john chapter 4 verse 18 if we see the gnt version it says there is no fear in love yes that's true Perfect love dry, drives out all fear. So then love has not been made perfect in anyone who is afraid because fear has to do with punishment. So if you're not afraid, that means God's perfect love you have received, God's holy love you have received. You have not received anything from the world. You have not received anything which is fake. You have not received anything which is deceptive. You have not received anything which is unholy, ugly. You have not received anything which is carnal or flesh. But what you have received is the perfect love of the one and only one who is risen to give you this love. Yes, indeed, when his blood was shed on earth, that's the sign of his perfect love. His blood is the perfect love. His blood is the Holy Spirit. And because of his blood, now you are set free and you have received his perfect love. The perfect love of God came on earth, touched earth only when the blood of the lamb fell on the ground. Till that time, there was no taste of the perfect love. 
but you will taste his perfect love through his blood. Alleluia. We have other versions as well. In NIV version, it says there is no fear in love. The perfect love of God, there is no fear. But perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. But tonight, as I prophesy over your life, you people shall be blessed amazingly so that you will win over the fear. The only enemy you have in your life right now is the fear. The fear of who will pay my bills. The fear of who will clear my EMIs. The fear of how my loan will be cleared. The fear of what will happen to me and my family. The fear of how will I survive. The fear of everything. The fear of joblessness. The fear of not able to walk. The fear of Everything, even one time mill is scaring you. The fear of not able to sleep at night. The fear of not having friends. The fear of who will look after me in the future. The fear of your children, your sons and daughters. The fear of your grandparents. The fear of your own belongings. Who will look after my belongings? I have a lot of belongings, but I don't have a home. The fear of you staying in the car, in the van. The fear of the doors not being locked. The fear of the darkness. The fear when there is no light in the room. The fear of everything, the small and the big things. The fear even while you're crossing the road. The fear of traveling in the trains, in the buses, in the flights. The fear of going abroad, the fear of talking with people, the fear of starting your own ministry, the fear of starting your own businesses, the fear of starting the job, even going for an interview. All these fears will be casted out tonight as I, the child of God, has come to bless you. Hallelujah. So tonight, you must tell it to the Lord as we are praying. You must confess your fear to the Lord that, yes, Lord, I am afraid of these things. Yes, Lord, this fear is causing heaviness and anxiety. The fear of my age, I am growing old and I have no one to look after me. What will happen to me? The fear some of you are even bothered and have fear of your funeral. But you must know about rapture. You won't have to go to the funeral because of rapture. You will be lifted up. You will be lifted up and you do not have to worry about anything because your destiny is definitely in the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Sheikh Sabia, God bless you. Lynn, God bless you. The fear of who will marry me, the fear of not looking good, the fear of gaining weight, the fear of what will the people say what are the neighbors talking about me the fear of the gossips the fear of the rumors oh i i will not go outside because the world is always mocking they are looking at me weirdly sarcastically i will not enter the restaurant i will not travel i will not go out at all because I am different from others. I look different and they are making fun of me, of my body, the fear of body shaming. The Lord God says that every fear will leave you tonight. Hallelujah. The Lord's perfect love is coming. You are receiving. I will anoint your head. You will be oiled. And because of that, the Perfect love will remain because of the perfect love of God, because of the blood of the Lamb, you will have peace within and you will testify. You will send me an email or you will comment 
in the comment box of any of the videos and you will testify you will send me an email at prophetessgracenishida at the rate gmail.com you can find the email address in the description box of all the videos you will testify about how this video has changed your life hallelujah i received several testimonies and uh, you shall be the one to testify this i am not saying this the holy spirit is saying this is the guarantee of the lord this is the prophecy this is what the lord god is saying to you you will testify yes indeed you will testify about the lord's goodness that you were afraid of this thing this thing something which is bothering you since generations the divorces in your family the failures of your past they kept on bothering you but now the lord god says that it's time for moving ahead it's time for renewal don't look back like the lord's wife hallelujah don't look back don't turn around and look back like lord's wife but to look forward because your joy is there your destiny is there your future is there your bride is there your husband is there not there but here in the front so look ahead so your past shall be cancelled it shall be nullified and because of that even tonight you will enter your mother's womb and from there you shall spiritually start a new life hallelujah now if anyone says that i don't have mother my mother is not alive but you may have your grandmother mother's mother you will enter her womb and you will come out spiritually this will all happen spiritually so that all the fears will be cancelled so from your mother's womb now you will be born again in Christ without the fear because your soul has thirsted enough for this redemption enough of the fear of the monitoring spirits the cctv cameras are also bothering you because you are saying continuously someone is spying on me continuously there is an eye watching but tonight everything every fear will leave you and you will live happily you will be set free indeed true freedom you won't have fear of what your father is saying you won't have fear of your ex spouse you won't have fear of the court cases as well no more joblessness says the lord thus says the lord we will triumph we will triumph over every fear because the only enemy you had in your life is the fear hallelujah more than the devil the fear of living the life fear is dangerous the fear of everything even if the small thing is bothering you it will turn into fear it will generate heaviness and because of the spirit of heaviness the devil will always be around you but tonight i bless you in such a way that the spirit of heaviness will leave you rakashe te 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 rakarararala saroj god bless you rukarararala sha ta 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 chararalala sha kararalala sha ta ta rararalala lalala sha ta 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 rararalala sha ta 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 rararalala lalala sha ta ta rararalala the fear some people the lord is saying some people have fear of how they are looking how they look how is the hair they have fear you don't have to be perfect because the love of god within you will make you perfect you don't have to be perfect by your own i should look good i should stand properly i should smile properly i should cook well these are your fears of your day to day life being a man of god being a woman of god being the child of god you 
behave differently, but you don't have to do that anymore because when the peace comes, you will know who you are. When you know who you are, you don't need a separate explanation from anyone, not even from a man of God or a woman of God. You don't need to listen or hear from anyone that you are a good boy or a good girl because you know who you are. Because the Lord's peace is perfect. His blood is perfect. His blood shed for you is going to bless you tonight. Hallelujah. And this is how we will try him because his perfect love will cast away. It will cast out every fear. It will cast out every fear means to every fear. The Lord will say, get out of my child's life not even in the surrounding. So the fear will not bother you. The fear will be not seen anymore near you. Not even when you are traveling, when you're going to your workplace, while returning you are safe, while traveling, while going you are safe, you are safe in your house as well. Many people have fear of their own family, of their own parents. That fear is leaving you. The fear within is leaving you and it will be replaced by the perfect love of God. So here within and in your mind, you will be at peace. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is what you need so that you shall be led perfectly by the spirit of God. You will remain joyful. Remember what I say in every video that the joy of the Lord is your strength, the joy of the Lord. When you praise the Lord with a joyful heart, with a smile on your face, thanking the Lord, that pulls prosperity towards you. And in this video tonight, I bless you with another teaching, with another word where the fear when it is casted out, get out of my life. When the fear leaves you, you have peace. When you have peace, you will receive miracles. Isn't that wonderful? This revelation is so needful, so wonderful. Only when you have peace, you receive miracles. So up till now, nothing worked in your life because of anxiety, because of spirit of heaviness, because of the fear. Because the word of God says, as we have read in 1 John 4, 18, the book of 1 John chapter 4, verse 18, it says, if you are afraid, you deserve punishment. But if you are not afraid, you deserve and you are blessed with the love of God. When we see, when we read about the fruit of the Holy Spirit, the first three we read in the book of Galatians chapter 5, if we read verse 22 and 23, the fruit of Holy Spirit is love, joy, peace. Hallelujah. So tonight the Lord God shall bless you with love, joy, peace. And if you have this fruit of Holy Spirit, if you already have this fruit of Holy Spirit, you already have the remaining because Holy Spirit is within you. The sign that the Holy Spirit is within you is the peace of God, the peace of God. You are not anxious. There is no anxiety. There is no trouble within because the word of God says, let not your heart be troubled. Hallelujah. Let's go to Galatians because the Lord said that I should read out the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. But when the Holy Spirit controls our lives, He will produce this kind of fruit in us. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. Verse 23 says, gentleness and self-control. Here there is no conflict with the law. Hallelujah. And this is the NLT version. And if we see the NIV version, it says in the NIV version, Galatians, the book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 22. But the fruit of the Holy Spirit is love, joy, peace. And along with this, tonight you shall be blessed with forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. 
Against such things, there is no law. So if you have love, joy, peace, you don't deserve punishment. But if you are missing any one of the fruit of the Holy Spirit, if you are missing on love, joy, peace, then you have fear within you because there is the absence of Holy Spirit. When you have fear, it means the Holy Spirit is not present. If you are afraid of anything, anything, only you must have the fear of God, but that is completely different thing. That is because of the spirit. The fear of God is completely different thing. But if you're afraid of anything that is happening around you and the world, then you must know that you need love, joy, peace. You must receive the fruit of the Holy Spirit and you must act accordingly. You must act in love, in joy, in peace. And for such, there is no punishment. Hallelujah. Is this clear? Because this is the reason why you're not receiving the miracles. Because you don't have peace. Now, since tonight, I will anoint you. You will have the peace within you because of the blood of the Lamb. I will bless you. The blood of the Lamb will wash away your sins, will cast out every fear, and you shall be blessed with peace. The perfect love of the Lord will set you free. Hallelujah. And you don't deserve any punishment after this because the peace of the Lord will attract miracles. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. This is wonderful. Rabba Shetete. I am filled with the joy of the Lord as I am preparing you people for Zion, for rapture, because you cannot be raptured in fear. Ooh, you cannot be raptured in this way. You must be bold. You must come to the grace throne boldly. Hallelujah. Do you agree with me? If you agree, say yes and amen. Do you agree that you must be bold, child of God? You must come to the kingdom of God to receive his grace because of your faith, of your boldness, not timidity, but boldness. You are the lion, you are the lioness, so you will roar. Hallelujah. The Lord God is also saying that you must be the diligent, obedient vessel of God. You must obey the Lord God diligently. As if you're caring for what the Lord God said. Oh, the Lord said that I must sow the seed. So I must do anything. I must forget everything and first sow the seed. Oh, the Lord God said that I should wake up at 4 a.m. in the morning and praise and worship him. So I should forget everything. You must sleep early and you must wake up at 4 a.m. You must sleep early the previous night in order to obey the Lord. So diligent obedience. It's not that Holy Spirit, okay, I will sleep at any time. Anyways, if it is the Lord's will, the Holy Spirit will wake me up. That is not diligent obedience. You do your faith action. You must be diligent in obeying the Lord. The Lord God said that I must serve him. So what should I do, O Lord? You must pray and sit in prayers and ask the Lord, Lord, lead me, guide me to obey you. How should I fulfill your will? You must be diligent. You must be caring. The Lord God said that I should help that woman of God. I should help that man of God. And how? Oh, Lord God, Jesus Christ, am I going to help them? Oh, Lord, help me. You must seek the Lord and you must be the diligent person. As if you're caring for what the Lord God has commanded you. Many times I say, give thy things, but you are still sleeping. You are not bothered about what the prophetess is saying. And year after year, there are no breakthroughs in your life. But from now... If you have received this prophetic word, if you have understood, if you are diligent enough to obey the Lord, you are going to tithe. And for that, you can check the description box of all the videos, any videos, you will find the PayPal link. Or you have options of Western Union, RIA Money, 
MoneyGram. You can also email me for the details. But you must be the diligent sower as well. You must be always awakened. Oh, the Lord God has commanded. The prophetess has commanded. So you must open your eyes and always remain awakened. Always remain aware and diligent as if you care for nothing else but for the word of God. The prophetic, what the prophecy is for you, what the prophetess has said. If I say that you must keep the anointing oil ready, don't be lazy because your laziness is not going to bring the miracles towards you. So keep the anointing oil or the water, the glass of water ready. Or you can even have a glass of juice if you have. Now we are going to bless the church. We will then clap the hands for the Lord in advance because tonight the Lord God shall deliver us all from all the fears, all the pain, all the fear of not feeling well, the fear of not moving ahead, not being able to move ahead, the fear of stagnancy, the fear of what will happen next. The most important thing is what will happen next. That's the most important thing for you. But and in actual, in real, for a believer, the peace comes only for the believer. It will not come for anyone else. The peace comes when you are diligent in obeying your prophets. That's why I say you must have a spiritual father or a spiritual mother. And only through the genealogy you will receive peace. You must be diligent in obeying the forefathers in Christ. If I am your spiritual father... If I am your spiritual mother, if you can see your spiritual father in me, if you can see your spirit mother in me, then you must obey. You must be obedient. And the first thing I will ask you to do is tithe. If you miss on the tithes, you are missing on everything. If I miss on my tithes, I will miss on everything. So tithing is everything. Obeying the Lord diligently. If I have to obey the Lord, I will forget my hunger. I will forget everything. But I will say, Lord, let me sit. My first priority, my priority is to do what you said. And for everything, the Lord will ask me to sow the seed. Without sowing the seed, I can't even come online. So for this prophetic word, for this prophetic video, I have already sown the seed. And for that boldness is needed. If I am not bold enough, I will ask the Lord to give me grace. Grace comes for those who are diligent in obeying. Did you hear that? Grace will always come for the diligent people who are caring, who are really from the depth of the heart are caring for the kingdom of God. You are not selfish, but you care for what the God says. That's why grace can be obtained because of your faith, because of your mercy. When you have faith against all the hopes. Now remember this, when you have faith given by God against all the hopes, means nothing is working, there is no seed to sow, there is nothing to give. Even then the Lord God has asked me to work for him. How will I serve him? I have no resources. I have no supporters. I don't see anything. In spite of all the odds, in spite of everything, every obstacle, your faith is still there. When nothing is moving on, your faith is still there. When people are saying, hey, you mad, nothing will work in your life. You're still saying, I am not mad. I am the righteous child of God. When people are mocking at you, few few days before when the Lord God had asked me to go to the nearby city, the cab driver was sarcastically making fun of me because he said for such a small thing, why are you going to another city when these things you can find it nearby in your local area. So because they are non-believers, we can't argue with them. But I kept silent. Let them mock. Let them do whatever they are doing. But we must remain in faith. When I went there, I obtained his grace. Hallelujah. Because of the faith. I didn't feel ashamed or embarrassed because of the mockery. 
because the faith was leading me against all odds when people are saying what is this we have never even seen or heard about this in our life why are you believers different yes we are different because we walk by faith we are not lowly people we are serving the lord god who is on the highest we are the altar of god and the lord god has asked us to obey him and that's all we know we are not going to answer the people of the world that's not our duty it's not your duty to answer and explain and justify yourself because your faith will justify you the blood of the lamb will justify you this is written in bible the blood of the lamb will justify you and the faith you are justified by faith but you are not going to give self justification you are bold enough to keep silent and you don't have to answer everyone you don't have to give explanation we are doing this because our lord god jesus christ has asked us to do that why you just obey as if you care for what the lord god has said and you don't care for what people around you are saying even if you are barren for years you still are believing in the child and people are making fun of you there is mockery the relatives everyone everyone is making fun of you they have four children you have none but still you know that even if you are at the age of 60 you will bear a child if the lord god can bless sarah if the lord god god can bless abraham and sarah why can't he bless you hallelujah he is the same god who had blessed sarah with isaac so he is going to definitely bless you so we have the faith against all odds and because we are the diligent obedient people of god you must be diligent if the lord god has asked you to separate yourself from everyone else you must start praying lord i want to separate myself i want to segregate because in segregation the lord god is going to prepare you for his kingdom if you are among the people you're just wasting your time and you're not allowing the holy spirit to prepare you you have your aunt coming your father is coming your brother is coming everyone is around you your mother is coming and talking to you worldly talks but you are not separating yourself and not allowing the holy spirit because you must have an ear to listen to the voice of the lord for that you must stay alone you must cut off yourself the you must delete all the unnecessary contacts no more chatting on whatsapp where there is no sharing of word of god if you want to do gossiping if you want to spend your time in asking people what did you eat how did you cook what is your cuisine what are you going to eat in the dinner how is the climate is this why you are born again you are born again only to serve the lord and share the word of god so all these people when your talks are worldly you must disconnect yourself from them these friends are going to take you and pull you towards the world but the true friend is the holy spirit the people of god your prophet is mother grace is your true friend because i am bringing you to god my talks with you are biblical the prophetic words coming out of my mouth of fire for you you are receiving fruitfulness deliverance healing salvation breakthroughs so my talks are the true talks and you need this talk you don't need anything else so you must separate yourself from the television from the serials from what is happening in the movies you watch one movie and you keep on thinking about the celebrities the hero the actress the actress you keep on thinking about them several times you listen to the worldly songs and you keep on singing the worldly songs in your mind in your heart and then you think that you should be blessed with miracles but you are forgetting that you are supposed you are ordained to have a relationship only with holy spirit and no one else only to be anointed so what do you have to do with the non believers so peace of god is only for believers 
By this time, you must know why you have been missing your miracles because most of the time you are chatting with friends who are not belonging to the same genealogy. They are not carrying the anointing, the same anointing. They are not the children of prophetess Mother Grace. They are not connected to the altar of God and you're dining with them. You're spending your time with them. So much of time given to the pagans, you're spending all your time for them. Then how will you have time to make a relationship, to have a good relationship, quality relationship with God? When will you give quality time to the Lord if all your dedication is towards the world? Is this making sense to you? So segregation is needed. Separation is needed. Obeying the Lord diligently is needed. And faith against all the odds is needed, which comes by hearing and hearing. So tonight I shall bless you so that all these things will leave you, those obstacles which are between you and your Lord. You must seek your relationship with Holy Spirit alone. For that we do praise and worship. When we say hallelujah, 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 we are, we are uplifting the spirit. We, we are lowering the flesh. We are uplifting the spirit, exalting the spirit of God. And every time you keep on thinking about food, your favorite food, this is what I want to eat, this is what I want to cook, this is what I want to buy. But stop thinking all these things and let your dedication, your focus be towards your relationship with Holy Spirit, with anointing. Only then you shall be empowered and blessed. Am I making sense to you? If I am making sense to you, then say yes and amen. Hallelujah, glory to Jesus. This is the reason why most of the times for so many people, I have asked them to separate themselves. But you see, you are not loving the Lord in real because if you do not obey the commandment of prophetess diligently, if you're not worried and caring, if you're not caring towards what the Lord God has asked you to do, separate yourself, get a job, and turn away your face from your past things. There are so many things which are still in your life, but they are coming to you from your past. And I have seen many people still soul tied with the pastors from the past churches, soul tied with the pastors, male or female, your soul tied. And every time I speak, you are getting connected to them. So how will you come to my altar, get connected here and receive your miracles when you're already soul tied to someone else? So tonight, the Lord God says that there shall be cleansing, weeding out because the blood of the lamb is powerful. Hallelujah. So if you have received the understanding, you will receive the breakthrough as well because when you understand the reason of your backsliding, why you are backsliding, why you are not able to move ahead in the Lord, why you are not able to obey the Lord, why your mindset is not renewed, because you are still connected to the evil altars. Remember that soul ties are also evil. So tonight the Lord God shall bless you with the freedom because his love is eternal, his love is true. So if you are ready with your anointing oil, shall I pray? Or if you are ready with the water, glass of water, glass of juice, anointing oil, you're going to apply on your head and water or juice you're going to drink. But first, let's pray. Holy, 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 holy. Oh, Rabba Shita, Kaur Rabba Lashem, Mere, Re, Re, La, Ba, Oriva Baba Shete Tete, speak in tongues, speak, speak to God. Abba Shiba Baba Baba. Or Rada Baba 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 Shatata, so that tonight you shall be set free. Wakamama Sheke Belela. Era Baba Bashete. Era Katatatara. Eri Belele. Yora. Your repetica tata red da 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 da
Orika baba reka rulle bebe be shita ta ta. Orra baba baka re te 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 te. Many people, they say they have email, they write comments that they are still watching porn, they are still masturbating and they are not delivered. The reason why you cannot be delivered in this way is unless and until you bear fruit for the kingdom of God, you obey the Lord diligently, you are not going to come out of the fruitlessness. So every time the Lord God has asked you to read Bible, you must read Bible as if that's the only commandment you have. You have no other work, but that is at priority. Everything else comes after that. If the Lord God has asked you to wake up at 3 a.m., 4 a.m. and start praising him, so you must do that. That should be your priority. If the Lord God has asked you to even smile, you must try to smile. If the Lord God has asked you to sow the seed, you must try and sow the seed and you must ask the Lord God to bless you with the seed. And I always say, be a big giver. The more bigger blessings you give on the altar of God, the bigger seed you sow, the bigger blessings, the bigger faith is manifested in your life. This is my own testimony. If I give little, if I sow little, nothing is going to make difference. But I always give out of my Abundant faith means I have very little faith and with that little faith, with that 100%, I give a big seed. I give the best quality and the biggest seed to the Lord and the result is always amazing. Don't think that these live videos are just like that. I had to obey the Lord diligently. The work the Lord God has given me is very painful. I have to grow vegetables. I have to do farming and I have no idea. I am learning. I am praying. I am asking the Lord God to help me only when I sow the seeds, when I sow the seed for buying the vegetable seeds and only when I am sowing the seed in the ground, my videos are being published. So unless and until I am doing, I am obeying the Lord diligently and faith against all the hope because I don't even know how to grow the plants. I have never done it earlier. So this is for the first time. But the diligent obedience is helping me. The prayers are helping me and the seed, the financial seed that I am sowing in spite of all odds is helping me. And two days before, I couldn't do anything because it is extreme summer here. The Lord God made me do farming in extreme summer. And that's what I said, Lord, I see you made me work double because the plants are not growing so easily in extreme summers. But two days before, I said, Lord, the soil needs to be wet. Otherwise, I won't be able to even dig. I won't be able to make the ground ready. But as soon as I said that, the next day it showered, it rained, it rained yesterday, it rained today. And to my surprise, everything was made easy only because of diligence in obedience. I said, Lord, I will forget everything since the last two days I am fasting. I forgot what I am eating. I said, no, Lord, the first and the most important thing for me is obedience. So I woke up in the morning, I saw what is the condition of the ground, I collected the seeds, I said, Lord, I need water in this ground and since last two days, my work has been in speed up, I have done a lot of work and only then the Lord God allowed me, he led me towards publishing this live video. So nothing comes to you unless and until I have paid the price for that. And you won't believe, but my body is in pain. My hands are paining, my feet, my legs are paining, my lower back is paining because of working in the soil, working in the ground, because I have to bend down, I have to dig, I have to prepare the soil, I have to bend down and sow the seed. I have to do everything which the farmer does. But even then, 
for the joy of the Lord, I am here to bless the church because you must be set free. You must be rewarded. I will pay the price always and you are rewarded. Hallelujah. In the same way you pay the price in your obedience, you obey the Lord because you paid the price. And if you are not tithing, you are missing on every promise of the Lord. Because the basic, the only thing the Lord God says, the minimum you can do is to tithe. If you are not tithing, then don't even think that you come in the category where you are to be known as believers. So if you are not even tithing, who will say that you are a believer? Am I making sense to you? Hallelujah. So now if you are ready with your anointing oil, let's pray and I anoint it. Hallelujah. I anoint it. I anoint it. Take the anointing oil on your left palm, a few drops and keep it ready so that at the right time, I will ask you to lay your left hand on your head. Those who are ready with the glass of water or a glass of juice, keep it in front of your device. I am going to anoint it already. The fire of the Holy Ghost, the power of God is anointing the oil. Rora Shatata is anointing the water, is anointing the juice. Rakalaba Shebere Kate Purrashete. As soon as you are going to use it for the Lord's glory, you shall be delivered. The fear is leaving you. The spirit of heaviness is leaving you. The anxiety is leaving you. And devil will not come near you. The witches will not come near you. So that you shall be set free because the blood of the lamb is coming upon you. All those who have the anointing oil in their left hand, you can keep your left hand on the head. And those who have a glass of water or glass of juice, drink it. And keep your left hand on your head. Even if you have finished drinking water or juice, now keep your left hand on your head so that I will anoint you. Oleba Kabele Shebe. Oh Shabala 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 Shabala. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. O Pale Pepe Pepe free. O Tarara Shata Tata free. O Karala Baba Baba free. O Shepe Pepe 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 free. O Tarala free. O Raba Shata Tata free. You are set free in the name of Jesus. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. Oh, We glorify oh Lord God Jesus Christ. If you have a testimony, you can send me an email or you can even send it here in the chat box so that many will believe and they will also believe in the presence of the Lord. Remember one thing, that peace of God is only for believers. And you are a believer when you have the peace of God. So when you have the peace of God within you, you have the Holy Spirit. You are believers, so you will have the fruit of the Holy Spirit, love, joy, peace. And all the fruit of Holy Spirit, which we have read in Galatians, Chapter 5, verse 22 and 23. Now, the Lord God says that you shall receive the transformation in your heart. Once you have peace, you will know that you are loving the Lord more and more. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May the peace of the Lord be with you. Hallelujah. May the peace of the Lord be with you. 
May the peace of the Lord be with you. Roli sha ta 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 ra 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 sha ta ta ta. Ore kere re sha re 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 sha te re 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 sha te te re 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 sha te te re 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 le le re 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 sha te. Ore re 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 sha ta ta ra 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 ra. So we thank the Lord before we end the prophetic fire live. The live video we thank the lord for his blood that's what the holy spirit said we should thank the lord for his cross we should thank the lord for the blood shed because he is so merciful he gave his life for us so that we will live we shall be set free from the spirits the spirit of heaviness the spirit of anxiety from all the troubles tonight the lord god has set you because you are bought by the precious blood and because of his blood and our peace you have received and when you have peace now you will behave differently you will behave like a believer a true believer you will not shout you will not yell you will not get angry you will not abuse you will not argue you will maintain your peace and then people will say yes indeed you are the people of god they will see the peace within you you will not be worried about the bills anymore because the helper will come to you any time if in the wilderness the ravens can come and feed the prophets how much more he will love you when you are not even in the wilderness you are at your home so the perfect love of god will cast away all the fear tonight and you will testify about the lord's goodness we thank the lord for the holy spirit we thank the lord for the resources for anything and everything we thank the lord we glorify because he is merciful god he loves you indeed do you believe that indeed jesus loves you do you believe that and you must share this video with all those people who are suffering anxiety who are suffering tension who have fear who are afraid who are in trauma if you find anyone whose heart is troubled you must share this video so that they shall also be set free and when the peace of god the perfect love of god is within you you will be different you will be the true people of god hallelujah do you receive this say yes and amen yes i receive it yes prophet is it is true i do believe that i am a believer and i will dwell in the peace of the lord hallelujah and because of this peace i am going to have miracles say yes and amen to this i will have miracles and this is how we will try and when we have our miracles we are victorious glory to jesus hallelujah rikeshe te tera la shabara she te tere le le re te re re kara la la sha ta ta ra la 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 sha ta ta ra la 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 so god bless you and it's the right time to be in peace hallelujah glory to jesus